All right, hey, today I'm gonna to pit a couple of heavyweight AI writing tools against each other. In the red corner, I've got seowriting.ai. In the blue corner, I've got Agility Writer. And we're going to do some SEO optimization testing, some AI detection testing, and some readability testing with both tools followed by complete scoring. So let's figure out which one of these tools throws the knockout blow. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to show you how I set up this test. So again, we're testing some SEO optimization scores and the scoring is going to be done with Neuron Writer, some AI detection scores using zero GPT. And then again, the readability scores we're going to measure with the Hemingway app. And the way I've done this is I've created four different articles and four different niches. I'm going to test each AI writer's built-in NLP keywords along with Neuron Writer's NLP keywords, meaning one article is written allowing Agility Writer and SEO Writing to pick their own NLP keywords. And then I'll write the same article over again, but we'll use Neuron Writer's NLP keywords for the SEO optimization piece. I've attempted to set up each AI writer identically. We'll look at the interfaces you'll see. That's pretty tough to do, but I've done my best. So the very first thing that I had to do is just do some preparation. You'll notice that I've created four content queries in Neuron Writer, and here are the four articles that we're writing today with both tools. Is mountain biking dangerous? Advantages and disadvantages of personal branding. Why camping is good for kids. And what makes electric vehicles so expensive? So those articles are the ones that are getting written by both tools. So as soon as an article is completed, I bring it into Neuron Writer and I get an SEO optimization score here. And then of course, I bring it into zero GPT and I'll get an AI detection score. So in this case, this one article, the electric vehicle article is 36.65% likely to be written by AI and then I'll follow it up with a Hemingway score. So that's how we did it. Four articles, each article written twice. And the way that I do that is so, for example, here's one article written using the NLP keywords that Agility Writer supplies. And then I rewrite the exact same article. And the way that I do that is I simply just click the rewrite article button here. So, all the settings in Agility Writer are all the same for the second article that's written using the Neuron Writer NLP keywords. In this particular case, these are the NLP keywords from Neuron Writer. Uh, but I also write an identical article using all the same settings, allowing Agility Writer to pick its own NLP keywords. And I did that for each, each one of the four articles. So they get written twice. Same thing here, for instance, you know, this is the article is mountain biking dangerous. Uh, what I do is I just use the same exact settings in seowriting.ai. In this case, these are all the NLP keywords from Neuron Writer, but I also rewrite the article and just let SEO writing pick those NLP keywords. And the reason that I do that is I just think it's interesting to see how well seowriting.ai and Agility Writer uh, can pick NLP key keywords without the use of an S SEO optimization tool picking out the keywords for us. And so that's why I test it that way. And then finally, I bring each article into Hemingway and get a readability score. So this happens to be the electric vehicle article. I got a readability score of grade nine here we go. Let's look at some scoring because I think that's what most people are interested in. I just wanted to say one more thing. When you're looking at the interface for Agility Writer, Agility Writer is much more granular. So in this advanced mode, you have many more selections that you need to pick before you can create an article. Now, this is both good and bad in my opinion. The good thing is you can get very granular and if you have a specific niche and a specific kind of article that you're writing and you're going to be writing lots of those articles, you can save your settings when you figure out what settings create the best kind of article for your niche. The problem would be or the 
the negative part of this would be you are going to have to experiment and write a variety of articles on the same topic, examine those articles, and determine when you're getting the best output you need for your specific niche. Now, the difference is when you're doing something like using seowriting.ai, there's far fewer settings that you have to make. You still have some settings that you need to do, but obviously not nearly as many settings in the interface for seowriting.ai. It just depends on how much control you want to have over the article. I think when you see the scoring, this will help you determine which tool might be better for you. When we get through the scoring, I'll briefly talk about which tool I might select and for what reason. So let's just jump right back over and look at this first set of scoring for the first set of articles. Let's take a look and see how this is set up here so you understand how the scoring went. I wrote two articles about electric vehicles, one using SEO writing and letting SEO writing pick the default NLP keywords. And then I wrote one letting Agility Writer pick the default NLP keywords. Then I wrote two more articles, same topic, same settings, but this time the only change is I use the Neuron Writer NLP keywords for both articles. The top score for the number one article had a 56 from an from a optimization score, Neuron Writer. So using the default NLP keywords with SEO writing, it scored a 40 out of 56, which isn't too bad, just using the default keywords. Agility Writer was a little less, 27 out of 56. Now, this is just me writing the article, dropping it into Neuron Writer, doing no further manual optimization. This is just the initial score out of the box. When I, when I looked at the zero GPT AI scores, the SEO writing with default NLP was a 45.21% likely to be AI, and Agility Writer performed much better. So anything that's green, that just means that won that category. When we get to the Hemingway score, SEO writing did a better job. I asked both tools to write at a grade eight or nine level. SEO writing wrote at a grade eight. Agility Writer wrote at a grade nine. Then when we look at the second article on what makes electric vehicles so expensive, when I use the Neuron Writer NLP keywords instead of letting both tools pick them, again, SEO writing comes out on top with a 44 out of 56 score. Agility Writer was a 32 out of 56, but when we get to the AI detection percentage, 57.34 likely to be AI for the SEO writing article using Neuron Writer NLP and only 36.65 for Agility Writer using Neuron Writer NLP. When we look at the Hemingway readability score, SEO writing comes out on top with a grade six, and then Agility Writer wrote at a grade nine. So let's just keep on going. The next article that I wrote was Why is Camping Good for Kids? So if we jump over, we look at that scoring, you'll see SEO writing came out on top with a 51 out of 67 score. So again, 67 was the absolute best optimization score uh, out of the competitor's articles. We managed to write at a 51 with default NLP. Agility Writer was a 43. Uh, again, this is a little different than the first set of articles because this time around, SEO writing came in at a 31.69% likelihood of being AI, while Agility Writer came in at a 62% score. Then when I look at the Hemingway scores, SEO writing just barely edges out Agility Writer coming in at a grade 9, Agility Writer at grade 10. When we rewrite the same article, why is camping good for kids, but we use the Neuron Writer NLP keywords in it, here SEO writing just barely edges out Agility Writer with a 47 out of 67 versus a 46 out of 67. But then when we get to the AI score, we're looking at a 56.19% likelihood of being AI, while Agility Writer's at a 60.91. And then Again, grade nine for SEO writing, grade 10 for the readability score for Agility Writer. 
So for the first two articles, it looks like SEO writing has a slight edge with the overall scoring, but it's still pretty neck and neck because of some of the differences that I see in the AI score percentage. Now for the other two articles, one was called Advantages and Disadvantages of Personal Branding, and then Is Mountain Biking Dangerous? This was it right here, Is Mountain Biking Dangerous? Well, let's look at the scoring here. So for the article that dealt with personal branding, an absolute tie when I let SEO writing and agility writer pick out their default NLP keywords for that article topic. Uh, a slight edge to agility writer in the AI score percentage, and then another tie for the Hemingway readability score. I asked both AI writers to write at an eighth and ninth grade level. They came in at grade 10, it was a tie. So for the second set of personal branding articles, again, all rewritten exactly the same with all the same settings for SEO writing and agility writer. The only difference is this time I'm using the Neuron Writer NLP keywords that they suggest to use. This time, SEO writing comes out on top. It has a 49 out of 73. Uh, agility writers a 43 out of 73. A slight advantage here for SEO writing with the AI detection score of 32.26 and a better Hemingway reading score of grade 9 versus grade 10. Then when we get to the mountain biking article, so this was again, is mountain biking dangerous? So that's the article. I let SEO writing and agility writer pick their own default NLP keywords and SEO writing comes out on top, a score of 44 out of 81. But Agility Writer's quite close with a score 40 out of 81. But in this case, Agility Writer comes out on top because it has a score of 40 for the AI score percentage. So it beats out SEO Writing. From a readability score for Hemingway, SEO Writing comes out on top with a grade eight versus a grade 11. For the second set of mountain biking articles, again, both tools using the same identical settings for these articles. The only difference is now we're using the Neuron Writer supplied NLP keywords. In this case, SEO writing wins out with a 49 out of 81 SEO optimization score. It comes out with a 36.8% likelihood of being AI written. And then it comes out at a grade eight for the Hemingway score. So for the article where I let Neuron Writer pick the NLP keywords, definitely SEO writing is the winner here. In this set of articles, SEO writing definitely has a slight edge and less AI detection scores are something that are extremely important for you. If you're worried about AI detection, then Agility Writer has the edge here. In this second set of articles, the personal branding and the mountain biking articles, it looks like it's a little closer with the personal branding article written with the default NLP Keywords being almost a tie straight across for all scores. Just a slight edge for Agility Writer and the AI score. For the Neuron Writer NLP keyword scoring, there is an edge to SEO writing here, but it's just a slight edge. When we're looking at the mountain biking articles with the default NLP keywords and the Neuron Writer NLP keywords, it looks like SEO writing really does come out on top. The only score that really concerns me would be the 52.33 AI score percentage for this one mountain biking article. But when I look at uh, these things in total, again, SEO writing is coming out on top slightly unless AI detection is a big deal for you. If it is, then Agility Writer is doing a better job across the board. Now, these are only four articles across four different niches. So how statistically significant is this? You'd really probably want to write 20 or 25 articles and look at all the scoring to really make a determination on which one is better. To me, it's pretty much a toss up. Now, I've always used SEO writing quite a bit. I like its simplicity and that works for me, but I know some people like to have a lot of granular control. And if you do, the advanced writing mode in Agility Writer is going to give you this very granular control over all the settings that you would put together when you write an article. So if that's something that you prefer, 
and you want to keep fine-tuning the Agility Writer settings until you get that perfect grouping of settings for your niche and the topics that you write about, this tool will give you that. If you're more concerned with being able to more easily write articles and not do a ton of testing, as you can see from the scoring, you know, SEO writing does do a better job from an SEO optimization perspective in most cases. And it does still give you enough control where you can do some things like basic AI words removal or advanced or extended AI words removal if you want to do that. And obviously, you can either let it generate NLP keywords for you, which I did for half the articles, or I used the Neuron Writer NLP keywords. And if you're not familiar with it, Neuron Writer, for the NLP keywords, you can go in and you have basic and extended keywords that you'd want to include in your article. And so you can just copy these and then pull them over into either seowriting.ai or into Agility Writer and use those. And so that's why I created scoring for default NLP keywords and Neuron Writer NLP keywords for both tools across all the articles that we talked about and all the scoring that we talked about. So in this video description, I do have links to both Agility Writer and SEO Writing with links and discount codes for Agility Writer. I have a 10% off discount code for SEO Writing. I have a 25% off discount code. So if you choose to use either one of these tools and want to support the channel, that, that would be great. So they're in the video description. Check those out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And again, if you were to ask me, you know, which tool do I primarily use, it would be SEO writing. But when I really need that granular control and I want to do some experimenting and try and create certain types of articles for a specific niche, I might switch over to Agility Writer in those cases. I have subscriptions to multiple writing tools. So I do experiment with lots of different ones. I tend to always end up using SEO writing. So what a user really needs to consider is what level of control they think they need over the document when they're creating their blog posts. I hope you found this helpful. Until next time, take care.